welcome welcome to the channel i'm ali this is the channel authentically ali and i just want to talk about living your best life and what is what does that really mean because i'm sure you've heard it live your best life you know you got to live your best life and let's live our best lives Well, I'm here to tell you, it's almost like, it's almost like the life that you're living right now isn't the best. It's like you have to like reach for something outside of you. Like you have to like get something outside of you. And that to me is not, that's like the opposite. That's like, that's not living your best life. Okay, let's, let's get into it. What is living our best lives really mean? Well, first of all, it's appreciating the life that we do have. Because how are you going to love your life if you don't even appreciate the life that you were given, that you have, and that you're actually living? And I think that we think that it has to be some grand, like, you have to go jump off of a, a plane and... <laughs> land in the the ocean and swim with the dolphins and and all this shit to like live your best life like if that's what you want to do then by all means go do it but like i think to me living my best life has been appreciating like my life and appreciating where i'm at and where i've been and where i'm going but in all in all is appreciating the day-to-day -day things you know like enjoying cleaning up my home enjoying getting ready enjoying getting my kids ready or doing my daughter's hair or buying her things that she likes to get ready with and and buying things that i like like for example let me give you an example little things it's it's the little things let me let me start there it's the little things it's like what do you clean your home with? Do you clean your home with things that, yeah, it's cleaning your home, but it doesn't smell good that you don't like? Or are you buying scents that you like? You know, like for Halloween and autumn and all that, they have like seasonal scents. And sometimes they smell amazing. And sometimes I've tried some and I'm just like, what is this crap? And I'll use it but like I know not to buy that again so I'll buy the thing that I like and I'll like kind of stock up on that because I know that I like that scent and I might even use it when it's not seasonal but but my point is to get back to the living your best life enjoy your day-to-day -day thing like whatever your day-to-day -day thing is if you need to drive to work put on music that you like if you need to if you're going grocery shopping enjoy grocery shopping like make have it be fun like pick out the things that you enjoy making you don't always have to eat the same things like get creative with your meals try new things you know it's it's really it's the little things that we do to enjoy our best life and i think that society makes it seem like if you're not jumping out planes and you know running you know every single day at five o'clock in the morning you're like a loser or something and it's like if you enjoy waking up at five o'clock in the morning every day and going for a run and that really lights you up and like makes you feel so good about yourself then go do that that is you living your best life but if you enjoy you know going on a walk at your own pace on your own time when you feel like that makes you feel good then do that you know if you enjoy dancing but you don't always get to go out have a dance party at home like put on the music that you like you know get lights and make it is fun like you know enjoy your life like however that is for you whatever you like doing and you think that you have to do something like big and grand and only if you do big and grand things you can enjoy your life then you're not i don't know if you're really enjoying your life on a day-to-day -day basis and that's what the point is is like enjoy your life on a day-to-day -day basis not like 
when you go on vacation, that's the only time you enjoy your life. But like Monday through Friday, you hate your life. Like I don't, I never resonated with that. And I knew at a very young age that that's not how I wanted to live my life. Like I knew at a very young age that I, I just knew that's not what I wanted for myself. And like if you're working right now a, a job that you don't like, I'm not telling you to quit or anything, but at the end of the day, there's other options. And if you're in a relationship that you're not happy in, there's other options. That it's an option to be single. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not telling anybody to break up with their significant other, get a divorce, or do any of those things. Please, that's not what I'm telling you to do. But I'm telling you, reevaluate your situation. If you're in a situation that's dangerous, yes, please get out. Please leave. That is not healthy. That is not love. You deserve better. But if you're in a situation where, like, maybe you just don't see eye to eye with that person, maybe just, I don't know. Like, I, I can't, I'm not in that situation, so I can't even give advice on that. But I'm happily single. Like, so I can't give advice on that. I can tell you, I'd rather be. A whole person as an individual who's not in a partnership or not in a relationship or not in a marriage then be unhappy in one so and that's just an op that's just one option you know there's also dating there's also like there's other things I think that we need to focus more on like what we can do to better our day-to-day -day situation to live our best lives and like I said, it's not some big grand thing that you do once a year or some big grand thing that you do, you know, a week out of a whole year out of your whole life and, and that's it and that's just, that's you living your best life. But what about the 360 other days? You know, let's say you went for five days somewhere. Okay, what about the other 360 days that are in a year? What, what about those? So you just say, fuck it. I'm like, oh well oh well but I live my best life that one that one day out of the year I enjoyed my life that one day that's not to me that's not living my best life I want to enjoy my best life every day and I want to get up in the morning and feel good about myself and even if I don't feel good about myself change my attitude change the way that I see things change the way that I view things to say maybe I didn't wake up on the right side of the bed or whatever but I'm gonna do my best to make this day good and I'm gonna do my best to appreciate what I have what, what do I have right now to be thankful for what what can I say thank you for right now it's like you might not have quote-unquote what you think is the best life for you right now like let's say for instance you live in an apartment but you want to buy a house one day because you think that's gonna be your best life and I'm not saying it won't but if you're feeling depressed and miserable and angry and bitter and all of these negative emotions while you're in your own home that you live in right now is it magically those emotions are magically just gonna go away because you live in a house probably not because if you're feeling that way most of the time that's a hard habit to break and you better get out of it now so when you do get your house you can appreciate it yeah and also if let's say you had like a one-bedroom apartment and now you have a two-bedroom apartment or you had a two-bedroom apartment and now you have a three-bedroom apartment okay appreciate that that's that's a level up for you that's you living a better life so let's appreciate the life that we do have you know so we can appreciate where we're going so we can attract more blessings in, into our life because if you're literally like if you're not grateful for what the fuck you have and excuse my french but it just it comes out when i'm talking about something that like i'm passionate about and i'm passionate about sharing these things 
with people who want or need to hear them. And if you're listening and watching this video, hi. Also, if you're watching and listening to this video, you have eyes and ears. So that's already something to be appreciative of. And it's just like to live your best life now, it's like appreciate your life now. Appreciate the fact that you can get up and clean your house, that you can get up and dance and create your own, you know, club scene if you want in the privacy of your home, own home and look at the positive of that. You don't have to pay money. You don't have to get up and go nowhere. You can set your own music because, you know, sometimes in the club they be playing music that you don't even want to hear. Well, I haven't been to the club in a long time, so I don't really know, but... When I did used to go, they, sometimes they would play music and I'd just be like, what is this? Like, I would never put this on. I don't even want to dance to this, but it's I'm here, so might as well. But, like, you can put on your own jams. You could put on your own music. You could, you know, set your own vibe and, like, just enjoy your life, you know. Enjoy going to your kids' events enjoy getting to know people there you know you don't have to be best friends with people but it's cool to interact with other people and like you know just do things enjoy what you have going on in your life right now appreciate what you have going on and then essentially that is a part of living your best life is like just appreciating where you're at and what you have and you know going from there like it doesn't like I said it doesn't have to be this like I said it doesn't have to be this big grand thing that you do you know once in a while it can be your everyday life that is your best life and maybe to others they'll either say like oh what is that person doing or oh I wish I had their life like it can go both ways but at the end of the day their opinion shouldn't matter their opinion shouldn't matter if it's positive and they damn sure shouldn't matter if it's negative so because at the end of the day you're the one that's living your life 24-7 you're the one that you know you look in the mirror every day and see you you're the one that goes to bed at night and you have you there like even if you're married, like, you're not with that person 24-7, you know? So it's like, at the end of the day, you have you always to um, live your life. You know, like, you're the one living your own life, you know, obviously. So, like, that's why it's so important to focus on what you're doing and not what the next person's doing or try to keep up with the Joneses and try to do what the joneses are doing because you don't know like really how the joneses are living on a day-to-day -day basis you might just see what they're posting on social media or what they tell you about or and if it's positive like yeah it's good to be happy for other people but at the end of the day like maybe the joneses you know are going through some other things that you don't know about and maybe they're just not sharing or even if they do like that's their life and like you have to live yours it's basically what i'm saying is just live your own life okay stop comparing yourself stop judging other people stop judging yourself stop trying to like <sighs> try to reach for something that might be out of your reach right now and just say you know what i'm gonna let that go because right now i'm appreciating my day, my day-to-day -day life, this moment, this, you know, day, basically, and, and what's meant for me will be in, and I'm not saying give up on it, but let it go, and appreciate what you do have, and I think, I feel like I can go on and on about this subject, honestly, like, I could, like, because it's, it's important, and I feel like, just because other people might be quote-unquote ahead of you or have quote-unquote more than you they don't have your life they don't have your heart they don't have your soul they don't have your body they don't have your mind they don't have 
you know, your voice, your opinions, and it's up to you to focus on what makes you feel good. It's up to you to focus on doing the best that you can. What is your best today? Is your best getting up, getting ready? Is your best getting up, taking care of your kids, making sure that they're well and taking care of is it getting up going to your career starting your own thing like like what what is your thing like for you to feel your best that is you living your best life despite what other people may or may not think about it because hell you might think that other people are thinking about you or worried about you and they're not so if they're not you should be worried about you and I don't know. That's just what I want to say. And <clears throat> I don't know. I might re-record this video because I feel like it's really long and drawn out. And I just wanted to get to the point. So, yeah. I think I'm going to re-record this. But, yeah. Until next time. I'm Ali. This is the channel Authentically Ali. And, yeah. Live your best life. Bye.